What's up, everybody? Welcome to Kinda Funny Games Daily for Thursday, April 1st, 2021. I am Nick Scarpino, uh, and joining me today is, I'm just going to say Andy Cortez, Andy, because you know why? Because it's a 14-page document we got to get through today, so we just don't have time for all a lot of, of stuff. your I mean, monikers. You know, not all the news is important, though, Nick. Keep that in mind, too. I But see, here's the thing. So uh, for those of you listening, you're like, wow, Nick's hosting Games Daily, finally getting his comeuppance, right? Finally bringing some flair to uh, YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games. Because no, most of the time, Andy, it's just ones and zeros, right? People, Tim's over there doing math. A lot of talking Greg's over heads, here yeah. talking about Halo, whatever. And they just, they wanted some heat today. Or so yeah. I thought. It's like, so a, thought. It's all, every show is like, is Game Pass the best value in gaming? Oh, Same like, thing every like, day. Oh, yeah. my God. Right? So this is what they tell me. They're like, this is going to be hilarious, Nick. You're going to you're gonna host Games Daily with Andy, of course, the dynamic duo, uh, the triple threat, as they used to call us. Triple and I mean, it's only two of us. Man. Well, I mean, we're, it's, it's, I mean we're, where's the third coming? I mean, well, I mean, it's going to be it's you, me, and whoever's in between us. Um, okay. Jesus. That, so then Tim goes, dude, it's super easy, right? We're just going to have you host. Everyone's going to love it. It'll be a hilarious April Fool's joke. And then he sends me the document they use for this show. And I kid you not, it's 14 pages long right now. That is the show we're going to get through. And I just realized scrolling through it, I'm like, oh, you got me. The joke's on me. Joke's that's on, what, that's on what this is, Andy. We are the, the joke fools. is on us. We are the fools. We're the April fools. And you are out there laughing, Tim Geddes, and I can see you, and I love it very much. Of course, uh, you can't. today's stories include you can't play Game Boy games because of the Suez Canal. Uh, Platinum Games 2020 April Fool's Day joke might be real. Spoilers, probably not. Elder Scrolls Online is coming to PS5 and Xbox Series X uh, and S and more because this is Kind of Funny Games Daily each and every week at 10 a.m. live right here on twitch.tv slash Kind of Funny Games. If you're watching live, you can correct us with uh, with stuff that we get wrong at kindoffunny.com slash you're wrong. Uh, and if you don't want to watch live, you can watch it later on youtube.com slash kindoffunnygames, roosterteeth.com, or listen later on podcast services around the globe <laughs> a little two claps, little two claps i think we're out is that we three claps or was it two claps i don't two, watch i think it's show. usually two the um uh, i have a feeling we're gonna have a lot of your wrongs there oh we have a, we're gonna have a ton of your wrongs there mostly yeah. because we're gonna go through the stories at a at a at a clip you know we're gonna go through at a fast a pace brisk here. pace yeah. i'm not trying to i'm not trying to bore people down with these news stories for this new show right we're gonna yeah. get to the fun stuff pretty soon uh of course to be part of this show head to patreon.com slash kind of funny games where bronze members or above get to write in and silver members or above get the show ad free along with exclusive daily post shows uh and last but not least greg sucks uh housekeeping items right now Got There's you, Greg. Greg yeah, trying to got do you, that. Greg. I saw that you was was trying to slide in Nick Sox into this document right now. I'm gonna, uh, Barry, can we block Greg from all kind of funny documents, please? On Thank it. you. A little Thank stealth you. edition. Thank anything. you very much. Yeah, I saw it. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. Greg's uh, his his name in the document shows up vibrant pink. Vibrant pink. And not only yeah. that, but it shifts everything. So as I'm reading, it's like an added uh, obstacle for this mm-hmm. show for me to do, which is good. Uh, housekeeping there is a new episode of the blessing show up on youtube.com slash kind of funny games right now uh let's talk elden ring which is uh i think i read that right uh you and did, then yeah. hey <laughs> andy are you loving invincible well the kind of funny podcast has invincible and the walking dead creator robert kirkman on it right now and it is freaking fantastic listen on your favorite podcast services or go over and watch us at youtube.com slash kind of funny i recommend you watch this if for no other reason than to tell me how big the lamps are behind Robert Kirkman. Are they huge or is his room just really long? Oh, okay. I wasn't I wasn't there unfortunately. I had the worst migraine of all time to the it point was, where I just like I was trying to watch in my two hour break, trying to watch Godzilla versus Kong. Oh, and I couldn't take it. Like my eyes were hurting so bad that I just needed to like lay down and not look at anything and I eventually, you know, napped for a little bit. But yeah, I was it was a bummer to miss that, but I'm excited to check it out. We had a great time. Robert Kirkman is, is a very, very, very cool, um, very, very smart uh, person with garbage takes on The Mandalorian. Oh, no, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure it was you who had the garbage takes. But no, I mean, it's, it's Andy, at I one mean, point he called me soulless for not liking The Mandalorian, and I don't think he was kidding. Um, and it was the best part of my life so far up to this, cool. up to this point. Best day of my life. Uh, thank you to our Patreon producers, Mick at the Nanobiologist, Tom Bach, Trent Berry. 
you want you wanted to say that I'm certain. I did. I'm Trent Barry and Black <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Today we're brought to you by Express. I'll tell you and Trent Barry. I'll I'll do it. I'll I'll no, say make it a little more strong. Don't Tom Bach, Trent them. Barry, and Black Jack Razak. Today we're brought to you by Express VPN, but I'll tell you about that later. For now, oh, let's begin with what is forever will be the Cortez Minute. It's time for some news. And we have blank stories today because Greg didn't fill that part in. So I'm just gonna assume, doesn't. I'm going to assume 15 stories. Andy, what's your, what's your over under on the stories we have I'm gonna, today? Okay, I'll go with six and a half. Over under six and a half. I'll go over seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Andy. Yeah. Under six and a half, over seven. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, first up on the news banter, you can't play Game Boy games because the damn container ship that got stuck oh. in that Suez Canal. This comes from uh, Reb Valentine over at IGN. If you're eagerly awaiting the receipt of a modernized By the Game way, Boy. Just real yeah. quick, let me interrupt. It's weird. It's still weird to me seeing Reb Valentine from IGN. That's like kinda, is it weird for you, Barrett, to see that? It's weird for me. Um, well, why is I it weird for you? I, I, I don't know if I've ever actually met Reb in real life. Oh okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's just cool. I've interacted you know, uh, with them on she's, Twitter. She's Imran's yeah. partner, but it's just yeah. it's just weird seeing her for IGN. It's kind of like oh, cool seeing right. them two together. You know, mm, it's yeah. like when Michael Jordan went to the Wizards. But this is way cooler. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was yeah, gonna yeah, say that. Did, sure. That wasn't that cool. No, I was trying to play for him. I was like, I'll I'll bring this team back, and they were like, he did, oh, he It was like okay. when Shaq went to Cleveland. You know, remember that? Yeah. He went, remember when Shaq went to the Phoenix Suns? They called him the Big Shaktis, like a cactus. Ew. Shaktis. That's not a great moniker for a sports person. <laughs> Because cactus There's generally ones, just yeah. stand still and don't do much. I mean, hey, that's at that point in his <laughs> career. At that point in his career. Uh, this story reads, if you were eagerly awaiting the receipt of a modernized Game Boy, uh, like which to play your ancient copy of Mar- uh, Wario Land 4, you will unfortunately have to wait a bit longer as the analog pocket has been delayed into October and the boat that got stuck in the Suez Canal might be partially responsible. Andy, did you follow that story that was happening last week? Big of boat. Of course I did. Gets stuck in the canal. And I recommend my recommendation was get that dog from Fun Clips on the morning show to come bro it out. Yeah, bro it make out. A, make a little alley. Yeah, take the water yeah, around out. the boat. Route it in a different way. See how mm-hmm. see how far you can go. Maybe do a little loop de loop or something. Don't waste the water, Andy. Yeah, reuse the water. Reuse, recycle, reuse. Mm-hmm. That's what I always say. Uh, in an announcement today. Uh, Analog apologized for the delay and cited two very specific issues. The first was an ongoing shortage of electronic components as the issue has been uh, prevalent due to COVID-19, hence the reason why Tim won't get me a PC with a 3080 in it, causing manufacturing delays globally and which is impacting numerous industries, not just games. But the second reason cited was logistical issues that Analog did not elaborate on in its post except to link to this Forbes article specifically about how the ever given a 1,300-ton boat uh, that blocked the Suez Canal for six days last week and blocked the passage of over 370 ships during that time was impacted global supply chains. Granted, many of the supply chains issued cited uh, there have been ongoing for some time. The Ever Given's blockage caused a tremendous delay uh, with the impacts of the article uh, posits may ripple across the next four to eight months, meaning that the Ever Given's presence in the canal is probably at least partially responsible for everyone having to wait on their pockets. Uh, finally, the analog pocket is a modern redesign of classic handhelds and looks an awful lot like a sleek, sleeker Game Boy. Its design was finalized last year, and when it launches, it will be able to play Game Boy, Game Boy Color, or Game Boy Advanced games. It's been up for pre-order already, but keeps selling out, uh, though back in February, Analog said it would offer more opportunities in the future to pre-order. At least now it looks like there's more time to do so if you've missed it so far, Mike Drucker. You've seen this analog my- pocket, Nick? I have to do it's it's so sexy. It's it cool a sexy looking? little machine. You've never seen it. I didn't know it existed until I read this news story yeah. just now. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Uh yeah, so so analog Nick, they make a lot of hardware for uh either older type hardware to run old um games 
or they make um, they make little peripherals and things like that. And analog has a very good sense of design. The um, Google it right now. What's it look? Yeah, like? go ahead. I'm, go ahead I'm, and I'm Google about, analog. I'm about to bring it up. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bear, oh, yeah. Bear, 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 bring that up for me. Bring that up for Uncle Mickey because I might need one. I might. I might need one of these and never interact with it. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. So so the thing is, like, it can run all of the old cartridges that you have or may own, which is why when Mike went when Stoneback Mike went on his trip recently, he went to go to local game stores to buy a bunch of different cartridges so that he could eventually put it into the analog pocket. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you know, this, this whole boat uh, got stuck in the way, which is unfortunate, but that means that Tim Gettys has to wait a little bit longer to get his analog pocket. Um, because I got to assume when he's playing that thing, you know, I mean the bachelor, how, how much will that get interrupted? Nick, you know, Oh my God. About. It's going to be, they're going to be like, and I choose and, and all, and G is going to hear Beep boop beep boop beep 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 a fake tweet that somebody kind of like photoshopped together and it was a fake tweet from real Donald Trump that said, why don't you just ram another boat into it? <laughs> it's like, it's so I mean, true. to be Inject fair, yourself with, with a uh, chlorine or uh, a <laughs> ram, ram another, another boat into it. Into it. Fantastic. And I'm sure that we would, missed out. God bless it. God out as a country. bless it. Speaking of fake tweets, Andy Greg way, Kotaku apparently thought the halo infinite uh, being delayed. Excuse me. That, Thought that Halo Infinite got delayed in 2022. Did you what, see this news story yesterday? Yeah, uh -huh. I. Uh, it's funny because in our internal Slack, I saw Blessing just post a thing that said, "Hey, I deleted what I just posted because I think Kotaku got got." Uh, because we have a little Slack thread for mm -hmm. KFGD wherever, whenever there's gaming news, you know, Roger will post stuff or Greg or Tim or whoever. And uh, yeah, I guess they got got from some website some fake uh image some fake leak or whatever which is uh that that's gotta suck it's gotta be a crappy time for journalists nick for people like us whatever we just read the news oh, and yeah. move on but I mean, for the people be, actually trying to be journalistic out there yeah. <laughs> it's tough i mean I, I salute everyone over at kotaku of course for trying to find the truth and everything but uh i just say give up give up Make your own truth is what I like to say. Sure. Make your okay. own narrative. Uh, of course, it is April Fool's Day today, so we're going to go through a few other April Fool's stories, uh, not the least of which was that Fortnite apparently added Stonks Man. Did you hear about this? I did, yes. And I thought it was hopefully going to be a joke, and it is horrifying. Is it actually? Are they actually adding the skin in? Yeah. Apparently, can... like, the, the, the tweet that I read this morning was like, it is not a joke, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and uh also a little bit too late to the game you know what i mean i mean the whole what? stonks thing was popular back when game i mean the meme was popular before the whole GameStop fiasco sure. but it's still the wall street wall street bets uh subreddit made it yeah made it popular it does make sense that you know it takes a while to make a model and get it rigged up correctly and make sure everything's working and uh well, you yeah, have to imagine they wanted to to time it for April Fools as well, so people would write up about it a little bit. Because you know, prior to this, they didn't have any popular skins on Fortnite at all. They didn't do any. Correct. They didn't yeah. beat you over the head at all with all their cool uh, tie-ins with Terminator and Predator and all this stuff and and aliens. And I'm like, cool, maybe I'll start playing Fortnite. But then I feel the pull back to like the I've zone. Like I said before, whenever Greg and everybody goes, whenever Barrett and Bless and Kevin and Joey, they all go play Fortnite. It's like, look at what we have over here in Warzone. We have the guy from Saw. We have Jigsaw. Yeah. We have Jigsaw. Right. Wow. We have sounds, the Texas Chainsaw sounds, we, have one of the, we have one of the clowns from Dark Knight. So, sounds, real, sounds real fun. It's okay. really cool. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's actually terrifying. When, yeah, when that really thing, scary, and then it pisses so. you off. When, that thing, when a guy in the Jigsaw mask kills you, you're like, you, you don't deserve that kill. Take it yeah. away. Take it away. What's next for Fortnite? What do you think? What other characters are, are going over there, do you think? I would like to see um, some. I'd like of, to like, see Rosie Perez from White Man Can't Jump. That would I be amazing. Oh my God. Too. That's my yeah. Rosie. Oh my really? God, Billy. <laughs> there's, a, there's a comic up in San Francisco, and I forget her name. I think, it's, I think her name is actually Jenny Perez, who does a spot on Rosie Perez to the point where I, when she did it the first time, she did it at a mic, and I was like, this is. And nobody, nobody laughed because I don't think a lot of people remember. 
or like I don't think Rosie Perez is necessarily in the cultural consciousness uh, sure. like she used to be in like the late nineties. Um, when when white man, I actually maybe early nineties when white man can't jump came out, but she did it, and I was like, that was so fucking good. I'm not even gonna laugh at it. I'm just gonna clap. Fantastic. Great. Uh, moving along, the final uh, April Fool's game related uh, story we have right now is bug snacks removing the bugs. Did you guys check this out? Did you see this tweet that came out? They were like, we know bugs are gross, so we're going to remove all the bugs. I saw the image. It just The logo just said snacks. Snacks, <laughs> which I would play. I would play that this game. Cool. Yeah, I mean, that's I like a game I play every day. I played yesterday while watching Godzilla vs. Kong. Went to CVS, bought a bag of Flamin' Hot Fries, a couple of Cherry Coke Zeros. Had myself a little, little game time with a game of snacks, Nick. Now Enjoy the question the movie, on everyone's mind, Andy was corduroy guy there corduroy guy was not there luckily Thank god do you get luckily. just relief when you walk in you don't seem like fuck good i can just get whatever i want to get now yes for sure yeah I, I was, a feeling of relief sweeps over me and also i'm i'm laughing at the idea that there's got to be at least half the audience listening to this right now that has no idea what the hell we're talking oh, about or that, even who we are I, there's, there's a good portion <laughs> of the audience that has no idea who i am and i love that Congratulations, it's April Fool's. Never next year, 2022. Just don't watch this show. This is gonna be a <laughs> you thing. Know, you know. This is gonna be a thing. Uh go. rounding out the April Fool's stories, though. Uh, I threw this one on here because I wanted to just go through a list of uh, CNET rounded up some that are already around. Um, Barrett, if you want to bring this up, we can scroll through some of these non-game related but slightly funnier because I understand them, April Fool's jokes. Um, I don't know if we can pull those bad boys up right there. Oh wow, um, this is cool. This is great. So I always love seeing these. Uh, scroll down a little bit. Some of these are great. The uh, Lego one's really. Oh, the Lego. It, it may not be an opening for you, Baird, because maybe you have ad block on. Oh, you do have ad block on, so you're not going to see all of those. Oh, uh, yeah, because the Lego, the Lego one's hilarious. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. I can figure I'm going to keep out. scrolling down. I'm going to keep scrolling down just to see if there's. Oh gosh, Bud Light seltzer, seltzer pizza, variety pizza pack and pizza, pizza extra flavor. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> which is so, wait, first off we, we can we can talk about that one right now the fact that bud light is making fun of itself is great because yeah. like what didn't bud light like seltzer come out and then bud light lime came out and you're like bud light stay in your lane you do one no, you thing but you out, do it great now bud light is the bud light of beers okay just you own that just own that oh this is amazing this is great yeah, essentially what we're watching, audio listeners, is Lego put out a thing called Smart Bricks Smart coming bricks. soon. And they are Legos that you cannot step on because they magically fly away from your feet as soon as you're about to step on them. It's a great idea. That's a hilarious idea. Uh, I, I saw a tweet from Cameron Ken, uh, Cameron Kennedy, who makes all of our intros, all of our wonderful interview intros and a bunch of other various things for us. He tweeted out, I'm all for companies being cute and making fun things like uh there was a a tweet that went out by remedy nick who makes control which you've been playing through on our yeah, daily streams yeah, yeah. and they put out a ps1 d make of it and they said starting today you can play control on your playstation one and it looks like a ps1 game and jesse that faden's running awesome. around and it, it's kind of broken too because the gun isn't always attached to her hand um, I, I think it's maybe just some animation uh, issue that they didn't correctly get the gun, uh, you know, melded to her hand or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it looks like a PS1 game. It looks very 32-bit with all the sort just of polygons. jaggy edges. Yeah. yeah, it looks really awesome. That's uh, Bar dope. Barrett's but that actually it up works right well for Control. That's kind of cool. I would actually, I would love to play, like, if they could, if they had, like, a, a mod for that, you could just click it and play the 32-bit version that would for a little bit switch to the old visuals yeah yeah that'd be it's dope. pretty I, I love when games so uh, there's a person doing this for bloodborne and oh that's uh, awesome so this is the ps1 wow. d make uh which obviously is not real but it's no. really cool just to see so you see how the gun's just kind of floating everywhere <laughs> yeah i love it <laughs> i wonder if they're like just, damn we no. cannot get this done in time let's just fucking do they just ship out this was like two dudes at remedy were like we got a great idea, and the, whoever the Fran is at Remedy is like, well, uh, that's fine, but just don't don't spend too much time on that. And they were like, dude, we got it. Don't worry about it. And this was three o'clock in the morning, uh, March thirty first, and they're like, we got to get this thing done, just but we can't get the gut. Just ship it. Just ship yeah. it. It'll be funny. And you so know what? Cool. I respect the effort, ladies and gentlemen. I do respect it very, very much. Uh, last April Fool's related story might not be 
a fool's at all. Platinum's 2020 uh, April Fool's joke is now a real game? Question mark asks Chris Scullion over at VGC. Uh, a game revealed as part of an April Fool's Day joke last year by Platinum Games appears to have actually entered development. Soul Cresta was announced in 2020 as the third game in, of course, Andy, the Cresta series of shoot 'em ups. Of course, who could forget? Uh, yeah. yeah, who could forget? Following the 1980s Moon Cresta and the 1985. Terra Cresta. Cresta. That's right. right here Andy, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my article. God. The joke was the fourth and seemingly final announcement on the Studios Platinum 4 website, which promised four big announcements, but was widely believed to be an April Fool's joke, especially when a fifth bonus stage announcement was added after it was published. However, exactly one year later, Platinum has now published a trailer that appears to show legitimate gameplay footage in collaboration with Hamster, uh, who, who have owned the Terra Crest IP since 2013, after it acquired the entire library of Japanese studio uh, Nichibusta. Uh, Soul Cresta appears to be a brand new retro. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save you guys. I'm going to stop you right here. This is Go ahead, joke. stop the story. This yeah. is an April Fool's joke, and it's genius. But you know it's an April Fool's joke, ladies and gentlemen, because it's April Fool's Day today. Oh, wow! See that one? See that one? Really right there? got me. Yeah, got us there. Got and, you yeah, because I, didn't see it, I saw Imran tweeting about it too. Like, I don't want to pigeonhole any developers because you know Platinum is known for making very flashy sword style cool combat uh, uh hack and slash sort of games so <clears throat> this would definitely be not in their wheelhouse so it's kind of weird to be like hey we're coming out with <laughs> with this sort of top-down video game that you know the ones that you the one the games that you couldn't remember that you would play on your uncle's pc back in 94 you know mm -hmm. there was always games like that there was always oh, chad i'm trying to think of one right now it went along like, if you ever played the Galactic sort of pinball game on PC, and you know which one I'm talking about, you also probably played this top-down sort of shooter. And it had a name like Raiden or something like that. So let me know in chat, and you get a, you get a prize. I, I, only, I only played the pinball and then uh, Solitaire. And then sometime on my gra sometimes on my grandma's computer, I'd play uh, Mahjong. Oh, Mahjong, really? I never learned how to play Mahjong. I, I didn't know how to play. I was like six years old playing this on my grandma's computer, but mm. I like Is it really Raiden? Oh, chat's saying it's Raiden. Wow. Oh, shit. Did I, I pulled that one. I'm pretty yeah, sure I maybe I just said Raiden, but I don't think it was Raiden, actually. But Chat's anyway. just going to agree with you because they're having such a great time watching a show that actually has uh, charisma for the first time. Wow, Jesus. Uh, so they're man. just, just they're going to just, <laughs> just, just pile attacking. it on, man. You're just attacking the host. <laughs> 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 no, mostly just Greg. Everyone else I host this show. Uh, oh, is, is wait, cool. wait, wait. No, it's not Pajama Sam. It's not Pajama Sam. Sorry. Damn it. All right. Next next news story, Nick. Big news on. for Andy. Ghost Runner roadmap. Five of Tyrion. Games. Tyrion. Slightly sausage. You fucking crush it, dude. It's Tyrion. That's the one. Oh, my wow. God. It's Tyrion. All right. Keep going. I'm glad we got to the uh, the yeah. bottom of that. Mm -hmm. uh, next news story, 505 Games is offering an advanced look at the development roadmap for its first-person cyberpunk action slasher game, Ghost Runner. Teasing to uh, uh, teasing to play as an action-packed year that will see a variety of free and premium content launch for the award-winning game. The advanced look at development follows 505 Games' recent acquisition of the Ghost Runner IP from publisher All In Games and the launch of the game on Amazon cloud-based gaming platform Amazon Luna. Uh, players can look forward to two new game mods, including uh, to uh, coming to Ghost Runner on all platinum uh, excuse me platforms in spring including kill run mode a challenge mode where players have limited time to complete levels and the highly requested photo mode our premium cosmetics dlc will also be available in spring leading into a steady flow of new content throughout the summer and uh, culminating with the roll out of a free next gen update for console players last uh, later this year andy how does that sit with you you're a big ghost runner fan right I absolutely love the hell out of Ghost Runner. It was so much fun. When, it, when I talk about the most fun I've had with games last year, last year, my, the most fun I had with games were like Fall Guys, Warzone, Ghost Runner is absolutely there, yeah. Hades. The, um, it It's such a great game. And when I'm looking at this content rollout, what I was hoping to see was not just new game modes. I was hoping to see... Maybe a, a DLC type thing, you know, sort of like how Doom Eternal puts out their DLC and you sure. get extra story missions yeah, or whatever. Yeah, you want more, want more. Um, yeah, well, like when it comes to cosmetics, that stuff doesn't really intrigue me a whole lot and wouldn't likely bring me back. Um, but 
it's exciting for people who haven't played the game, people who played it on PS4 and Xbox One and said, damn, I wish the performance was a bit better because hopefully you all have PS5s by now. Spoils, you probably don't. Um, but I, for those of you who have the next-gen consoles, I could not recommend this game more. I had an absolute blast with it. Nick, I, would, I think it'd be a great game for you to play as well. Yeah, it's, I watched you play on streams a couple times. It looks dope. It's so much fun, and it's also totally a good game to get uh, acquainted with the mouse and keyboard. I think it's mm. like a good tutorial game sort of thing to kind of figure out how you operate with the, the you know, the WASD or what mm-hmm. Kevin calls it, ASWAD. ASWAD, yeah. which I think is a better way to do it personally. Yeah. Um, as you know, Andy, I'm very well acquainted with ASWAD, uh, but the, step one, get the mouse and keyboard. Step two, go into game, invert mouse. That's the huge. Invert mouse, That's, got that's it. the pro strat right there. Oh no, oh. is the fire alarm going What's on? What's that noise? What is that noise? Oh my God! What what's that it noise, stopped, Nick? It stopped abruptly. I don't know, Andy. What it is that noise? Abruptly. I'm, so, I'm trying <laughs> to find this so sound. fast. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh! Here, here it's it the is. KFGD top five. Wow! It's A the KFGD the top five. Everybody, your favorite, uh, your favorite piece of content from Kind of Funny Games Daily. It's happening right now, um, Nick. Right now, I'm about to read to you the top five video game animals I'd bring on my ark if I was Noah from the book Noah's Ark. Sounds fun. All yeah, right. Top five, here we top, go. Five, top five animals Andy would bring on his ark if he was Noah from Noah's Ark. Right from here. the book Noah's Ark. Here yep. we go, book, everybody. Or, Am- the or the Amazon uh, limited series Noah's Ark as well. Right. Well, um, well. Emma here Watson we go. Number five. I would. Now, Leo. this isn't really. This isn't really me bringing two pairs of animals, like so they could have sex and we yeah, can populate. Yeah, I don't want that. that, that this is more of like smell. there's a smell involved with that. Yeah, this is more of like there's a flood and uh, I'm um, maybe I just want to bring animals to help me kind of like survive. You know yeah. that sort of thing. It brings down, it brings down your blood pressure. It helps with anxiety. Exactly. Maybe yeah, maybe yeah. one of them spits out some milk. Exactly. Number five is Yoshi. Um, oh. Yoshi. <laughs> While it's technically a dinosaur and bringing back the dinosaurs is against God's law, I might be able to find loopholes and classify him as a lizard. Plus, think of all the monetary opportunities, Nick. Golden think of eggs. Think of parks. Think of petting zoos, mm-hmm. right? Who wouldn't want to? Who wouldn't want access to a dinosaur, right? I think a lot of evil people might. Go ahead, Nick. Now, when you look at Yoshi's egg, did you ever think, hey, maybe that's a Cadbury mini egg and maybe I could eat it? Oh, let me chew into that. Yeah. We're just, we're just eating the spawned. We're just eating the spawn babies, the unborn babies. Well, if babies. it's not, you know, if it hasn't been inseminated, you can just eat the chocolate. It's fine. Mm, got it. Getting gross. Getting gross. What's the next one, here, right. Andy? Number four is Tom Nook, the raccoon uh, from Animal Crossing. He's super rich. Um, my only worry is that I would be closely associated to somebody who uh, might be the reason for the real estate market crash mm. in the future. Mm-hmm. I don't really want to run with people like that. A lot of people call him Tom Crook. Oh, um, no. Because, yeah, he's known to kind of just you know once you owe him money he's going to come after you but i think it would be very uh helpful to have him in my life sly cooper the raccoon comes in number three another raccoon right back to back mm-hmm. we've never seen this before mm-hmm. i don't think he can help tom me nook steal a raccoon yeah tom nook is a raccoon oh, okay. uh sly he cooper is also a raccoon, a raccoon. and a small, sly like cooper small, could help me steal panther. from tom nook he could help me steal from tom nook if i yeah. needed him to um also if he gets caught i'll make sure that sly cooper has rabies so he could scare away Tom Nook. But if Tom Nook has rabies, what's that, Nick? Double Jeopardy. Double rabies. You can't Double get it twice. Yeah, exactly. Can't get Ashley twice. Judd. Double Jeopardy. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, number two, Rouge the Bat. Former government employee. Uh, she might have great connections with politicians. I could figure out how to bribe and blackmail people in government. Wow. Also. This is getting, like, really dark. Uh, yeah, I just yeah. wanted you to know there's, like, a conspiracy that you got going on here. And I don't know if I want to be on this arc with you. It's kind of dangerous. Oh, you're not invited on the arc. Yeah, you're oh. getting left behind. Okay. Uh, also, she's super sexy. Number one uh, on the list of top five video games I'd bring on my arc if I was Noah from the book Noah's Ark, Shadow the Hedgehog. That's the shadow right there. Um, arguably sexier than Rouge, the bat that we just showed earlier. Um, he also carries a Desert Eagle hand cannon with him everywhere he goes. I am worried, though. I mean, there's a lot of pros when it comes to Shadow the Hedgehog, but I am worried he'd fight really hard for the Second Amendment. And if he does... I might disassociate from. I don't need to see that side come out of him, you know. Yeah, the the. I mean, I can I can understand that. The flip side of that is, you know, he's the only one that has the gun on the arc, and you're pretty much a pacifist. So it's possible he's going to be your boss soon. 
Just throwing that out there. The Lou 55 says, name one pro. <laughs> 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 he, I said, arguably sexier than Rouge. That's a pro. Duh. That's a pro. Right? Like, Look over at that the hair. Oh, you can't, you can't see. There's Rouge. There's Rouge. Knuckle, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, really, really sexy. Uh, anyway, that's it for my my KFGD top five, everybody. Yes. Um, All right. Andy Cortez, it's the KFGD top five. Thanks we're going to in, everybody. We're going to take a quick break right now, ladies and gentlemen, to tell you about our sponsor, ExpressVPN. Does it make sense that the same company who controls half of online retail also passively eavesdrops on your private conversations at home? What about the idea that a single company controls 90% of the internet searches, runs your email services, and gets to track everything you do on your smartphone? Big tech is more powerful than most countries are, and they profit by exploiting your personal data. It's time to put a, lar a layer of protection between your online activity and these tech juggernauts, and that's why I recommend ExpressVPN. Think about how much of your life is on the internet. If you're me, it's it's all of your life. Sadly, every site you visit, uh, video you watch, or message you send gets tracked and data mined. But when you run ExpressVPN on your device, the software hides your IP address, something big tech can use to personally identify you. So ExpressVPN makes your activity harder to trace and sell to advertisers. ExpressVPN also encrypts 100% of your internet data to keep you safe from hackers and eavesdroppers on the, on the network. And ExpressVPN does all of this without slowing your connection. That's why it's rated number one, uh, the number one VPN service by CNET and Wired. Uh, what I like most about ExpressVPN is how easy it is to use. Download the app on your phone or computer, tap one button, and boom, you're protected. So stop handing over your personal data to the big tech monopoly that mines your activity and sells your information. Protect yourself with a VPN, kind of funny trusts, to keep us safe online. Visit expressvpn.com slash games. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash games to get three extra months free. Go to expressvpn.com slash games right now to learn more. Whew. Andy, your choice now, coming out of that ad read. Cool. Which I crushed. You Do crushed I it. say data or data from here on out? Because I said both. I tried both in there. And I'd I'm not data. quite sure which one. You like data? I'd say data. It reminds me of Star Trek. What's funny is um, one of the earlier episodes, I think it was season one, uh, one of the characters kept calling him data. And he corrected her. He was like, I'm sorry, it's data. There it is. Straight from the source. But she sounded so much cooler when she called him data. No, that sounds like you're calling somebody your father, like data, data. Like Put the in the chat, chat right now. Is it data? Type in either data or data in the chat. Hold on. Let hold me know on, which one on, you like. I'll, I'll put a poll. I'll put a poll. Yeah. About that. But Barrett, make sure you spell it both the same. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. There you go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Andy, uh, we got a couple of more news stories we'll go through, and then we'll get to what's out today. Let's go through a couple more news stories, and then we'll do that. Let me scroll back. Got here. Warzone gets real. Activision DMCA's new outlet for reporting Call of Duty leak. Uh, this comes from Brandon Sinclair over at gamesindustry.biz. The story reads, Video Games Chronicle editor-in-chief Andy Robinson has said both his and his outlet's Twitter account were temporarily blocked today as a result of a Digital Millennium Copyright Act claim from Activision last boo. night. Boo! Activision, come on, boo. We don't like that. Uh, right, Andy? Oh, That's on, wrong. That's bad. I have it, it kind of queued up. One second. Yeah, give it to me. Uh, boo! Uh, Good. Yeah, I need the Jerry Springer boo to know how to feel. Last night, Video Games Chronicle posted a story about a new map for Call of Duty Wars and that included links to the, or uh, the origin of the link and embedded videos showing the map in question. The story remains up, although one of the embedded videos hosted on YouTube is marked as, quote, no longer available due to copyright claim by Activision Publishing, Inc. Here comes Activision, quote, uh, excuse me. Quote, here comes Activision removing our legitimate coverage of their leaks from Twitter. Robinson posted after unlocking his account, noting that he has never received DMCA claim from any other publisher. Robinson said VGC's Twitter also had a DMCA claim from Activision last August after it tweaked, uh, tweeted a link to uh, a story with Call of Duty Black Ops leaks after the leaked information had already been officially announced. Uh, last year, Activision also invoked the DMCA in getting a judge to order Reddit to produce uh, identifying information about a user who posted a screenshot of Warzone before its official announcement. 
Um, slippery slope right there. You can't even talk about leaks slope. anymore, dude. It is a slippery slope. Where are you going to do them? Probably on your own site? Like where Twitter won't be able to shut your ass down? Because I've seen also there, there's been people in our community. Gifted Dim, uh, for example, would post. I think he got blocked because he was posting workout videos of himself from TikTok. And mm-hmm. the music got shut down on Twitter. Uh, he got DMCA claimed on Twitter, which I, I it's worrisome, Nick, because Twitter just used to be the Wild West. And now yeah. they're coming after everybody, just like they came after Twitch. Yeah, I mean, I remember a day when you could just post uh, um, like an entire season of a, t- a TV show on YouTube and no one would come after you. So, I mean, that was awesome. But that was also 2005 before anyone knew what YouTube was. Just let me post whatever I but want, you know. So I watched all of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh, great. Uh, I mean, let Andy post. Hashtag, let's get that one going. Uh, let's see the final news story and then we'll get into some other shenanigans outriders PC console crossplay turned off. Uh, this comes from Alessandro Barbosa at GameSpot. That is the coolest name ever, by the way, Barbosa. I will say, um, when it's it comes to from, Alessandro uh, being Alex. better than Alex, uh, Alex, like Alejandro with an X, Alejandro, I think yeah. the double S way cooler. Way I mean, cooler. You know what I mean? Ale- I got it. It yeah. reminds me of uh, it, it sounds like a UFC fighter's name because there is a, a UFC fighter named Barbosa. It sounds like a but, soccer player. Yeah, that's totally cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, Outriders, the latest shooter from Studios People Can Fly, is out today for both consoles and PC. But if you were hoping to enjoy some cross-play multiplayer action, you might have to wait for a while. Outriders has its cross-play a platform multiplayer between PC and console players turned off as People Can Fly investigates an issue with uh, back-end synchronization. The bug is causing uh, parties consisting of players, both PC and console, to eventually kick players out one by one, which doesn't make it a feasible solution for uh, long sessions. Andy, I'm going to say here's your solution. Just go all PC. Done. Right? That's the way to go. I don't know why this is a problem. In a Reddit post, People Can Fly explained that you can still manually bypass matchmaking and invite players from different platforms, but that you'll eventually run into the issues regardless. Thankfully, Cross-play uh, between Steam and Epic Game Store players is working correctly, and cross-play between just console players seems unaffected, too. Uh, quote, we are treating this issue with the highest priority, and we are working on patches that will synchronize all platform code, uh, which will revo- uh, resolve these issues, the posts reads. I Ask. hope that I hope this works and sort of fixes things, because I I played a decent amount of the demo, of the demo before it finally released today. I believe today is like the official release date. And the demo felt kind of wonky when I'd play crossplay. I was playing on PC. I got to play a bit with Greg and Bless, uh, who were in my party. And it just didn't feel as smooth as a co-op PC game should feel. Like in the I've played Destiny for maybe 20 minutes on PC online. And that out that felt fantastic, obviously. But for some reason, Outriders just didn't feel as smooth, and it kind of turned me off a bit. Yesterday, I got to hop in, play the game by myself, and it felt phenomenal. And I'm hoping that eventually this crossplay stuff does get turned back on. And maybe they find some problems in the back end that they didn't even know were there, because I would love to keep on going with the... Um, I would love to keep on playing with Greg, because I've, I've been enjoying myself so far, and that was not the case during the demo. Uh, well, I assume they'll get that sorted out very quickly. Uh, and I'm just reading off the document here that I was told to get off of Andy. So uh, this is what this is how they segue to the next section. But Outriders is so far away. If I wanted to know what's coming to mom and, and pop shops today, where would mom I and look? Grop. Mom, and, mom grop. and grop shops? I don't know why it says grop shops. Is that a thing that, that they do? That's what Greg says. That's a good okay. Uh Let me read this again then. I'm sorry. I apologize, everyone. But yeah. Outriders is so far away. If I wanted to know what is coming to mom and grop shops today, where would I look? The, the official today section here. The, the official list of upcoming uh, software across each and every platform as listed by the Kind of Funny Games Daily Show hosts each and every weekday. Today. Yeah. Out today. Outriders. <laughs> PS5 and PS4. Xbox Series S, X and S. Xbox One and PC. Uh, Dungeons and Puzzles on Switch. I'm not even going to say that. Akalasia on PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. <laughs> Akalasia? Akalasia? Sure. Akalasia? Uh, I don't know. What comes after on Switch? Abby's Farm for Kids and Toddlers on Switch. That's one I can't wait for. Uh, Stick Fight the Game on Switch. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, dude, that game rules. We did I'm a party mode that of bad Stick Fight. I remember that. fun game. Uh, Train Station Simulator on Switch. A Long Way Down on Switch. Uh, Morhan Cart 2 
on Switch. Uh, Street Racing, Tokyo Rush on Switch. That sounds awesome. Good Night Night on Switch, uh, as narrated by Christopher Walken. And it's actually pronounced Good Night Night on Switch. Uh, Open TTD on PC and Mac. Oh, there's one I can play, Andy, on the old MacBook. Mm -hmm. Uh, Base Ball Superstars 2021, now available on iOS and Android devices. GTA Online showcases daredevil of all kinds this week with triple gta money and rp in the aerial drop zone adversary mode and double gta and rp in all parachute shooting jobs while gta 500k bonus awaits players who perform five stunt jumps i I didn't even know you could still play gta online so that's pretty a lot of people a lot of people still doing it nick uh damn it miss opportunity right here barrett i think you me greg tim should have all gotten together and put fake games under the list. Yeah. God damn it. That's a missed yeah. opportunity right there. That would have been so good. Because honestly, Nick, when you got to uh, More Hun Cart 2, <laughs> I thought, is that a real game? Did somebody, <laughs> is somebody doing this joke on Nick right now? The, the funny thing is, I, I don't think it's a missed opportunity. Here's why. I, have, I don't know what any of these games are, except, yeah. except for Outriders and GTA Online. Those are the only two games that I recognized on this list. And the only reason why I know Outriders is because literally, A, we just read that news story, and B, we've been doing le- we've been doing like streams with them uh, going yeah. up, that game coming up. So you guys could have done it, but the joke's on you. I would have just gone right past it, and then you would have laughed, and I'd be like, I don't understand it, and ignorance is bliss. Uh, new dates. This is for new release dates or changed dates. we got a few of those for you right now. Escape the net and discover the mysteries of plover island i mean are you messing with me on this one plover island military complex and man eater truth quest coming this summer to pc playstation and xbox Mike loves that man does he right there Mike nick all you do is play as a shark you're a oh, shark really and it's cool. an open world shark game you just go kill humans and kill other uh sea species that sounds fun uh earth defense force world brothers sets digital debut for global markets on may 27th for nintendo switch playstation 4 and now pc turnip boy commits tax evasion april 22nd on the nintendo switch and p you gotta be lying to me on that one that's a joke right I have no idea. Hold on, hold on. I gotta find. I gotta look this one up. This, this you gotta look that one up. That's gotta be Greg messing with you, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think it is a real game. Shut hold the on. front door. Yeah, here Shut we go. It here right we go. now. Hold on, hold on. Yep. This Rated is so weird. It's a real this game. This is Nick. a real game. Real game. This is not a real game. Let's see the trailer. Let's see the trailer. Man, they're Here digging deep for these Switch games these Snooky days. Snooky Kazoo Graffiti Games brings you Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. <laughs> Look how cute it is. I mean, this looks dope. I'd play it. This looks like that. Uh, this looks like Link to the Past. It does. Yeah, I was going to say. Well, this is awesome. It's really cute I'm music in. and stuff, too, but I'm waiting it for, to, for it to turn. Pay your, Pay your taxes. taxes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. No. Oh no! I would love it if this the turned IRS into like a hardcore. Comes for everybody, dude. Yeah, and then he's living on the streets doing smack. I would love it if like Nick Cage and Wesley Snipes were two of your friends who like are also committing tax <laughs> fraud. Oh my god! You. I wish one of us could do a Nick Cage and or Wesley Snipes because we would just narrate this game right now. That's high praise. I can only do the Andy Samberg impersonation of Nick Cage. Can you can you do me a favor? Can you give me the um, Michael Caine to uh, to McConaughey? Michael Caine. Oh, like from that other that other video? The yeah, you were good. You were really good. At it. I was setting you up for. Wait, you're down. Success. Yeah, yo, Michael Caine. Yo, Michael. I want you to put a little West. You put a little Southern accent on it. It becomes Michael McConaughey. It's just not very good. It's not that very is, good. No, it was fine. I, I like that a lot. whole lot. I, I like that a lot. A whole lot, Nick. Oh. Oh no. Oh, the alarm's going off again. The, the alarm is that the fire went alarm? off again, Nick. What? Yeah. what? What does that mean? Abruptly. I don't know. What does that mean? You, I don't it's know. You tell me. KFGB top five. Another top five. We got two Another, top fives. Wow. We have two top fives today. What a day. What a day we're being treated to right now, Nick. Mm, I'm this excited about this. It's a huge deal this. for all of us. Um, right now, um, it looks like, it, it, see, because I don't control this, Nick. It just sort of happens. Um, apparently, yeah. It looks yeah, like today's just... top five list is the top five celebrities in video games that have ever popped up and it was meant to be top five actors but one of them was like just too good that i had to include cool um so number five on the list is uh is jeff goldblum um jeff goldblum in uh, black ops 3 
should be thankful that you didn't just disappear. Is there a larger weapon concealed within? He's Jeez, just I Jeff Goldblum. How, how He's not even trying. <laughs> Because He's really not even trying on the these. gratitude scale. Wow, I feel like gratitude I just scale. Uh, traded a cow for some magic beans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. Hey, this is special. So that's, just, so that's number five right there. Mm -hmm. uh, number four on the list is Phil Collins in GTA Vice City Stories. I'm not going to play the music, obviously, because of DMC, DMCA purposes. Yeah. But Phil Collins struts out onto the stage. In on This is a PSP game, by the way. That's why Naturally. it looks like so old. Um, and he's walking with the headset mic, right? And it looks amazing. And I might just play like a couple of seconds. Let's just play when he, he walks all the way around the stage and he's in concert and he's singing. Man, uh, they were not, they were not gracious to him on that hairline. They, they really were just, not. Yeah. The rock star could have been a little bit nicer there, but he eventually started, a little bit better. He's what he's shutting the whole way Why is over. It taking him so long to get to the he's drum singing. Set. The pain still grows. The string. <laughs> it's so good to the crowd <laughs> yeah the crowd goes wild nick so that's number four for the top celebs in video games number three christopher walken from true crime streets of la sometimes it seems like no matter where you turn you end up stepping into dog shit and I don't mean any dog shit. I'm talking about a frigging Great Dane dump, the likes of which you've never seen. I bet and by the way, this is, also, I'm, I'm, this is also this is also going to be your future text notification or ringtone or maybe like a Twitch stream uh, notification. Here we go. Okay. Good going, Nick. You really need it. <laughs> These are just his lines all isolated. That's number three on the list. Uh, number two, who could forget? from Wheelman, Vin Diesel. What you need is a tour guide. Oops. You always work solo? Why? You looking for a dance partner? Maybe. <laughs> but I'm gonna need a team that knows exactly what they're doing. I prefer to work with people who know how to stay behind the scenes. Gotta be careful with people like that. Sometimes they're hard to find when you need them. Great job, Vin. You read they were that also perfectly. Also, very generous with... with the, the body his overall body. Yeah, yeah it's very it's a lot more defined than 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 vin diesel's trying well to keep in mind this is an right older now. game right that's when he was true he was kind of vin diesel was then. jacked back he's then. still and jacked now he's just a little he tries a little less hard to get that body fat down no no number one on the list is christopher walken again from the game ripper uh, absolutely is that just live action who's the victim walken? it's an fmv Stein. Yeah. stein when i stein age 43 Book His name is Ben Stein. When they Stein, the other got it wrong. Don't Let's see. Estimates get another take. Programmer. He's so Mental terrible. He's so It'll young in this. 48 dude. hours to run it down, but there's no connection here. <laughs> That's just like so it's just so clues? old school. No sign he of force. Just doesn't nothing care. Disturbed. Two sets of prints. Hers and her mother's. Two sets of prints. The only thing not where it should be and her is this woman's insights. Or what about witnesses? Insights. I mean, this guy must have been a bloody... Don't try to shake him down. That's the KFGD Top 5, the second one for today, everybody. All right. I can't believe we got two, Nick. That's, I mean, it's a motherfucking KFG. And yes, I, add the, I added the word motherfucking to the second intro. It's a motherfucking KFG. <laughs> we noticed. Top five. We noticed. There can't wait! Go, can't wait to see if there's a third one before this uh, hour-long episode of Kind of Funny Games Daily yep. ends. Uh, to see what we do with that, uh, I guess two more new dates before we continue over to the reader mail section. Uh, to po Potion Party comes to Nintendo Switch on April 8th, and Viking Vengeance uh, comes to Steam on April 8th. I cannot believe they report on these games. I can't imagine that. It doesn't matter. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move no, on right it's now. Important. Yeah. Uh, we're going to skip the deals of the day section because all there is is just an X in there, and I assume that's not. Something we need to worry about right now. <laughs> it's time to go to reader mail. You can write into patreon.com slash kind of funny games where you can get your questions read on the show. Just like the nanobiologist said, good morning, my favorite KFGD hosts. That's you and me, Andy. Uh, now that mm. Mario is dead and soon to be deleted from all of our consciousnesses, uh, what game mascots should take its place uh, as every confused parent and grandparents go to for referring to video games. Uh, we've all heard, is that a Mario or is that a Nintendo? But they can't anymore. Uh, thanks, and may you always find ways to, fi uh, to fight the Greg Scrooge. Scourge. I just said Scrooge. I'm sorry, I read it like that. <laughs> I haven't seen the word Scourge written out in uh, ever in my life, so it's Scrooge. 
Okay. I'm going to say this. Just because Mario's dead doesn't mean your parents know he's dead. Or your grandparents, for that matter. When, as a person who is getting older in age, basically whatever gets stuck in here around 30s, it just stays. So Mario will always be in the consciousness as the video game character, similar to how my mom still thinks I make Halo. Because she heard that one time. She knows I am in video games. So now she, she says Nick makes Halo. I, never, I don't have the heart to correct her. Andy, what say you? Um, I mean, at that point, I feel like we're kind of... Uh... You know, you got to take the character off of life support, right? If Mario is dead, you cannot keep on going with this lie. I feel like it's telling your kids that the Easter Bunny is alive um, or or Santa Claus is still alive, you know, mm -hmm. when really those characters died centuries ago. Right? Oh, my God. In the, in the war, in the, yeah. in the great Easter war of, uh, of, yeah. of 20 AD. The other one, uh, Cold War, died in the yeah. Cold War. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I don't know. I I don't think it's good to yell to lie to your children. I'm thinking. I mean, we just saw five actors right here that I just showed you. Why it was actually four. We got Christopher Walken twice yeah. on the list. Who could replace Mario? I think it's between Vin Diesel or Christopher Walken. Oh I think my god, one of them could take place. Could be the lexicon. You know, you're so right. But the question is, and here's the thing, Andy. Though you put two different Christopher Walkens on there. Because as Troy Baker once told us, when you start doing a Christopher Walken impression, you have to pick which age you're doing. Well, so you're is it going to be yeah. young Christopher Walken, which we saw at the last clip, or old Christopher Walken, where he's like, a great Danes, big heaping dog shit. You know, uh, yeah. you got to pick where you're going to be in the register. Because older Christopher Walken dropped down to like, you know, the I love registers. that I just showed you a clip and now that's going to be a part of your, your sort of act. I just showed you a clip that you'd never seen from True Crime, yeah. Streets mm -hmm. of L.A., and now it's up there. Now that's part of your that's part of your Christopher Walken routine right there. Oh, man. Already. I mean, I'm, I'm an artist. I'm a true artist, Andy. Yeah. And as every true artist knows, um, the step one in becoming great is copy other things. I just mm -hmm. stick them in there. Stick them in the yeah. old noodle. Let them come out whenever they want. Thank you for the question, Mick. Appreciate you, man. Uh, there's a couple more questions. We didn't answer but... it. <laughs> no, we didn't answer it. Why would we? <laughs> Uh, you know, we're going to, we're going to leave those other questions for tomorrow or the post show. Uh, there is another show tomorrow. We, we the, actually, show, we'll do, yeah. that's fine. We'll do them on the post show. That sounds good. I remember if you want to be a part of the post show, subscribe right now to <laughs> patreon.com slash kind of funny games. Uh, and, uh, you can be a part of this post show where I will answer John autumn and Jordan Lee Ro Rowan's questions over there. Uh, but now it's time to squat up. And there's nothing there. And when I click on the link, it goes to the same link as all the other questions. So I assume this is just That's unnecessary. Totally uh, we're going to go through. Oh, there's no more segments in this. And now it's time for you're wrong. And the host note here says, there's a, this is where uh, I get to tell you all the things you're wrong about. Uh, so here we go. Here's Nick Scarpino and Andy Cortez's first ever segment, you're wrong. Bless this is yours. You Bear, do you do you sing to this? You can't include. No, me. I, 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 I don't think you. this is. I, I think this is one of the few we don't have a jingle for. Okay, well, I'll start the. I'll start I'll, the jingle. On, I'll, I'll, I'll do one for you. You're motherfucking yeah, wrong. Do. If you think Departed is a good movie, you're wrong. Uh, anyone who doesn't think Ryan Gosling should have gotten an Academy Award for his performance in Blade Runner 2049, you're wrong. Uh, if you don't think the 1989 Batman movie is the best movie ever made, you're wrong. Jesus if you're Christ. 30 years or older and wearing a backward hat, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> DJs in general. Just, God damn it. You're wrong. Okay. Uh, cat people, you're not wrong, but you're also not right. Oh, okay. You're right. willing to make a little <laughs> willing to make a concession on that okay. one. Uh, if you pick Apex over Warzone. You're wrong. Oh, come on. Apex is a great game. If Just you play Valorant instead of inviting me to play Warzone at night, you're also wrong. Oh, that's very directed at mm -hmm. me. I see. Uh, if you're overly tall and flaunt it in the face of us average-sized people, uh, you're wrong. And good fucking luck at airports. That's what I'll oh, say wow. right there. Uh, if you choose pumpkin froyo over ice cream because you think it's healthier and then proceed to pile on a bunch of that powdered graham cracker topping, uh, let me know. Let me know where you found that because all my places in SF have closed. Oh, okay. And so uh, it's just and, a question you're asking. <laughs> and finally, for your wrong today, if you post Greg sucks in the comments of this video, I'm not going to stop you. I'm all not right. going to stop you on that. Fantastic. Uh, tomorrow, hosting. 
kind of funny games daily. Someone named Blessing and someone named Lucy James. Uh, so maybe they're good at this show and probably better than us, but I assume they are. Uh, and if you're watching live on Twitch, let the audience know uh, what if something is coming next. Well, guess what's coming next? Snowbike Mike is going to be streaming today with someone else, and it's going to be real cool. It's gonna Who be, is it going to be today? It's, it's going to be, be Blessing. Yeah, and then we're going to play Outriders, and then we're going to talk about anime. There you go. Man, look at us, Andy. 1058 on the dot crushing this podcast it turns out not that hard to end the show get lunch, dude. at 11 <laughs> uh now it's time for the post show supporters at silver the silver membership or above on patreon.com slash kind of funny games get this until next time it's been our pleasure to serve you